Hi there. I'm so glad that you're back for day 28 of 30 Days of Prayer for our children. Today, we're going to pray for humility, that our children would reflect humility toward others. And we talked about servant leadership, was a, which is a little bit of that. But humility goes kind of in a different direction from that. I think of humility as being kind of the opposite of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Not that we don't want our kids to be ambitious, not that we don't want them to take the world by storm, because that is not anti-biblical if they are ambitious. Selfish ambition, however, is different. And so uh, Philippians 2.3 really sums this up nicely. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. And so I think our prayer today is that, you know, we've talked about the me-centered world that we live in. I mean, we value celebrity, self-promotion, standing out to get ahead, uh, climbing the corporate ladder and stepping on heads along the way, those kinds of things. In politics, I can't tell you how many times I've thought, you know, because one, one of my kids would like to um, become a lawyer and possibly become a judge. And I think to get that far, it really seems like it takes compromise of character and selfish ambition that would discard other people. But we have a God that places people in authority that can definitely preserve humility in amazing leaders, in amazing people that do crazy, powerful, and life and world changing things. So that's our prayer is that as they move forward in ambition in their lives and in their callings, that's what we really want is for them to be walking in the calling that God has created them for, that they would maintain humility. And, and I think of that as the opposite of selfish ambition and conceit. So let's pray that for our kids, that they would be world changers, but it would be in a way that would always retain a grounded humility. Father, we thank you for planting ambition in the hearts of people, that there's this desire to strive for more. There's this desire to, to go places and not just be stagnant. There's a, a desire for uh, moving forward, for chasing dreams. And you've put that in us, God. For our children, Lord, we pray that you would help them to recognize their calling, not to Think of humility as the need to, to crush their dreams in the name of elevating others, but that they would dig deep for the calling that you've placed in their lives, that they would operate in that calling, but that they would do it in a way that would never incorporate selfishness or conceit, that you would preserve the core of humility in their lives, that as you use them, to move forward or to get ahead or to rise up to positions that are more and more powerful or more and more influential, um, that they would still have that humility, God, and that they would still regard others as better than themselves. God, we thank you for each one of our kids. We pray that you would give us the wisdom to know how to individually pray for each one of them. We pray that you would help us to model humility for them. And we pray that you would protect them from false humility or from a martyr complex or a stoic attitude, that they would actually see the joy of living with their arms wide open, serving others, and with their knees on the ground as they elevate others in the name of Jesus. We pray that humility would be a badge of their being yoked with Christ and their status as your children, and that it would stand out in a world where selfish ambition and rising to the top by putting others down seems to be more the rule. God, we pray that you would open doors for them that would normally only be opened through selfish means, but that you would fling them wide open even as they maintain that humility because you are a powerful God. You are a sovereign God. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. 
you rise, raise leaders up and you tear them down. You raise up kingdoms and you tear those down. We know that whatever purposes that our children have, no matter how great or how behind the scenes, that you will allow them to do great things in the powerful name of Jesus and for your kingdom, but that they will be able to do it through maintaining humility and serving others. We thank you, God, that we serve you, that we serve a God who is so powerful and whose ways are so contrary to the ways of the world. You are God and we are not, and that is so abundantly clear. So we place them in your hands, Lord, asking that you would continue to launch them forward and yet protect and maintain that humility in their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen.